Hello everyone. It is another beautiful day in Arizona. It's time for a shrimp mint. Let's get to it. Give me my shrimp. Good stuff. Time to get these guys into their new home. Let's get to it. Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So I wanted to get some more shrimp, but I'm not allowed to set up any more tanks. So I went ahead and got some red pentos from Shelly over at Lucky Aquatics. And I'm gonna put them in my cold tank. So once we get the new fish room set up, once we get the new shrimp room set up at the new house, I'll separate them out into their own tank. But I've got a problem, I got an addiction. I can't, I can't not get new shrimp. So I had to get some more shrimp and I'm super excited for these guys. Let's go get them unboxed, get them in their new tank and check them out. So Shelly always does an amazing job at packing. You know, she uses that blown in insulation. All of the breather bags are wrapped in paper towels, which keep everything nice and safe. I've never had any problems with her packaging. So I got 30 red pentos from her and she threw a bunch of moss in there. Just that way they have something to hold on to, which definitely appreciate all the extra moss. Thank you so much, Shelly. But these guys look a little stressed, a little washed out from the travels, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get them dripping and they'll brighten up quite a bit. They won't stay this way long, I promise. So there's one of the blue bolts that I culled recently and this is their new home. You know, that nice coal tank, all the moss in there. We're just gonna get these guys dripping so that way we can transition them smoothly. These guys colored up amazingly. So they look absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely happy with how they turned out and how they arrived. You know, I had no dead on arrival, which was nice. And I've got a few varieties of patterns and hues in there. You know, you got that traditional pinto pattern in there. Looks like we've got a few of the fishbone patterns in there. These guys look awesome. There's a few of them that have some more d darker colorations to them, but a lot of them have more of that, you know, bright red, which is nice. And then a few of the, uh, more of that like wine red, which is that, that deeper, deeper red. So I'm, I'm excited to get these guys into their own tank to kind of see what kind of hues and variations I'm gonna get from them. Because I know with Pentos, a lot of times you are going to have quite a few coals. It's going to be, uh, more of a refining process to get those patterns because the the patterns do vary from shrimp to shrimp so when you get a, a large colony like this you know you're going to want to pick the best of what you want and kind of define those patterns from there and just see what the the babies are throwing so let's go ahead and get these guys into their tank and get them fed. I'm sure they are hungry after their long journey. And when I first get shrimp, I don't normally feed them the first day. I'll let them kind of get acclimated and do their thing, cut the lights off so that way they're not, uh, you know, stressed out. I, I try to keep them in this breeder box as short as possible just to get a good look at them, make sure everything looks good, no parasites. That way I can get some uh, footage for you guys as well. And then after that, they go into the tank. I cut the lights off and then kind of leave them alone for 24 hours, just let them do their thing. So that way they can really get used to the new tank without any extra stresses on me messing with them too much. Cause you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do too much with them. They've already spent four or five days in post, which is, is stressful enough on them. And the cool thing about pinto shrimp is just where they came from. So when you look at a pinto shrimp, uh, pinto shrimp is classified as a Thai Thai bee. So what this is, is a Taiwan bee crossed with a Thai bee. So whether that was a red King Kong crossed with um, some type of Thai bee or what other variation you have. And then of course, to get a Thai bee, you would just cross your crystal shrimp with a tiger shrimp or Taiwan bee with a tiger shrimp. So kind of that first stage of getting those cross breeds going, which I'm still learning. I'm still getting into genetics and what it really takes to, to make these shrimp. Cause there's, there's just so many variations out there as far as colors and patterns and trying to really nail it down as to how you get these certain shrimp. Basically, you just take your, your original building blocks and add 10 generations of selective breeding and that's what you get. So you'll, you'll take your 
you know, Thai B, cross that back with that Taiwan B, and then kind of look for those patterns as time goes on to what you want, and then just breed those all together. So it's, it's really interesting to see the different genetics and how you get those different patterns. And with this coal tank in here, I've kind of got my own little breeding experiment going on because I've got my tangerine tigers. I've got some golden bees in there, some raccoon shrimp. I got the blue bolts with the Missouri pattern, as well as a, a few orange eye blue tigers, some crystal shrimp coals. So there's all kinds of genetics in this tank already. So any of the offspring coming out of this tank are going to be a good combination of stuff. So it's, it's neat to see what happens when you put all of these shrimp together. And once I get the new shrimp room set up, I'm gonna be separating out quite a few of these shrimp to create their own colonies. But for the meantime, I'm just kind of letting them do their thing. And you know, if, if they want to interbreed and create some cool looking offspring, I'm okay with that. What I found really interesting was some of my tangerine tigers in here, uh, I don't believe they're full on tangerine tiger. They're more likely mixed with the aura blues, but some of them have red stripes and spots. So like that one on the left right there, you can see it's got red stripes and spots instead of the black spots. And that's more of that, you know, like red tiger pattern. It doesn't quite have the, the red flesh or the, the red carapace, but it definitely has those red stripes, which is, which is a cool characteristic. And I, I would love to be able to create a tank of those and just have those going. And I haven't looked into it too much as to what type of shrimp those are, if they, they are a separate type of shrimp altogether, or if it's just a variation of tangerine tigers. But I really like that red coloration. And if you can, if you can get that red coloration onto some other shrimp, as far as like crossbreeding to get that trait, that would be really cool. And then of course the, the orange eyes that I have in this tank, I'm pretty convinced that they are the crossbreeds from my black King Kongs and orange eye blue tigers, just because they are more of a clear color. And I know your F1 crosses a lot of times can be more of that, you know, dull coloring or a clear color. But like this orange eye up front, it's, it's kind of like a metallic purple. I know somebody had mentioned it before. Uh, I think it was, uh, Tim from Crypt Keeper Aquatics, he, he had said that those orange eyes kind of look like the metallic purples, but they're, they're definitely cool looking and um, I'm loving this tank, you know, having all of these different types of shrimp in there and with it being a 30 gallon, they, they grow in size so much faster in these bigger tanks than the 10 gallons and I'm definitely excited to see where this tank goes and, and what happens with it from here because you know, I've never had a mixed tank of Caradinos like this, so to get them breeding together to see some of the offspring, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see how it goes. But, you know, thank you so much, Shelly, for these red pentos. And if you guys are looking for red pentos, go check out luckyaquatics.com. I'll leave a card above so that way you can get your hands on some of her pentos because they're, they're gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Thanks again, Shelly. I love them. But, you know, you guys are the backbone of my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all you do. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, I love you all for, you know, showing up and uh, leaving me comments, hitting that like button, and just telling me what you think of my videos. So if you feel like supporting me, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, as well as tell me what your favorite shrimp is. So go ahead and tell me what your favorite type of shrimp is, or if there's a favorite type of shrimp in this coal tank, tell me what you thought of that so definitely appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much for watching you're all amazing but as always enjoy the rest of your day we'll catch you next time guys you know bye 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 bye